NASA is preparing for its Orion capsule to return to Earth in just a little under two weeks from now on December 11th. Yeah, it's a moment many at NASA have been preparing for many years to make sure everything goes smoothly. New at four, meteorologist Ricky Matthews shows us how NASA Langley played a critical role in the upcoming mission milestone. When the Orion capsule returns to Earth, it'll splash down in the Pacific Ocean. But before it will do that, it had to complete a series of tests right here at NASA Langley in their hydro test basin. Nestled at the end of the landing and impact research facility, the one million gallon basin is designed to test water landings. I don't think most people really realize, but for the Orion crew module, the impact in the Pacific Ocean is really going to be the, the most structurally demanding point of its entire mission. In designing the capsule, engineers run thousands of models, simulating what would happen if the wind during reentry is strong, if the waves in the ocean are different sizes, or if the parachutes fail to open. A few scenarios are then picked and simulated in real life to account for unknown variables. We will use that data that we gather from hundreds of sensors across the crew module to correlate to our models so that we then know that what we have tested um, in the real world correlates to what we see in the, in the digital world. Data is then analyzed and used to update the models. It doesn't all line up perfectly with what they had developed in the 3D model. So part of that um, evaluation which really uh, took probably about a year worth of work after our final test was to go back and parse through all that data so that you really do have a good comfort level. NASA Langley has been supporting the Orion project for more than a decade and will continue to support future space flight. While testing on Orion has wrapped up in the basin, Brian tells me that the basin could be used in the future for testing commercial crew capsules from SpaceX, Boeing, or other NASA partners. Upon splashdown, Orion will have traveled 1.3 million miles through space, but perhaps none of those miles is as crucial as the last one. At NASA Langley in Hampton, I'm meteorologist Ricky Matthews, 10 on your side. That was really cool to watch. Thanks, Ricky. Amazing photography there.